continuing to grow and improve technically. Nice throw ball. Here's a chance. Olivia Doak finishes. And Lipscomb has the early lead. Olivia Doak, the player of the year in the A-Sun, showing why right there. And here's the counter. Nice run by McKay. McKay finds the back of the net. And Lipscomb has a two-goal lead. Her strong left leg able to register. And that's how Lipscomb has scored twice tonight on the counter. Goal number seven for Macy McKay. You start to scout Lipscomb and you see their athleticism from top to bottom. As a ball sneaks in, and UNA has an answer before the half comes through. A rare mistake. And UNA on the board. Nice play from behind, and then the push, and they'll let them play. Well, they're letting a lot of physicality go, and now Doak is free. Olivia Doak finds the net. For the second time today, early in each of the halves, Lipscomb's Olivia Doak has scored, and Lipscomb back up by a pair. There's only a few seniors that play on the side. Here's Shelby Wall. Wall pushed off by Beck, and that, that should be a, a PK, right? She's knocked down in the box. Yep, he called it. Shelby Wall, the top scorer for North Alabama. Seven goals of the year. Kate Mason, kick up there, and we have a one goal game. Make it eight goals for Shelby Wall. Her terrific run leads to the penalty kick, and Lipscomb, which coming in had allowed 14 goals all year, has allowed two tonight. For the first time ever, Lipscomb University not only has won the ace of regular season title, but they've won the tournament championship. Congratulations to Lipscomb. What a well-played championship between Lipscomb and UNA tonight. Kevin O'Brien started with a program that seven years ago had not won more than four games. Now they have 14 and a championship and an NCAA tournament berth too. Man, I mean, it's a feeling like no other. Um, we set out at the beginning of the season to get to this point, and uh, every goal we set, we've reached. Um, get to go to the NCAA tournament for the first time, and that's something our program has never done. Um, and to come in as a freshman, like we've, this is my fifth year, and it, the program has changed so, so much in my five years here. Um, and we've gotten better every year, and it's this year, we just felt a peace throughout the whole season. We were just like, man, I think this is it. Everybody knew, even the semifinal against Florida Gulf Coast, we, we didn't have any fear of it anymore. Oh my goodness, we've been working so hard. I mean, we've been um, just like, it's been in the back of our head since last year when this happened and we were sick and tired of losing. So we wanted, we wanted to be champions for sure. So it was awesome. I'm just so proud of the team. <laughs> It's relieving, um, it's exciting, you know, at the same time because the girls have worked so hard and, you know, there's there's players, our senior class, is, they've, they've had that feeling, unfortunately, that North Al had tonight where you yeah. give everything you've got, you make it to that pinnacle game and, and you fall short and it, it's really, really tough. Um, so my heart goes out to them because we've been there and we've been in those shoes and they're a fantastic team. But for us, it's, oh, it's just, it's wonderful. You know, the reality is, it's taken six years of building recruiting class on top of recruiting class to, to get a team that's capable of doing it. So we had alumni out at the game tonight and just grateful for them and their contribution because every year we just got a little bit better and a little bit better and now we're, you know, we're competing at, at the highest level we have as a program. So just grateful for all those players, past players that 
didn't win a championship necessarily, but they did. They helped us get here, so really, really grateful for them.